waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another fc finch review and it is eagle moss day here on the channel this evening on the channel this lovely may evening on the channel actually it's it's, it's nice and warm today which is hasn't been in a while but yes we're gonna take a look at another eagle moss ship and yes today on the table we have the official ships collection battlestar galactica pegasus and uh yeah so uh i i did a, a galactica uh eagle moss review um a while ago um i think it was on the blood and chrome galactica i forget it was on one of the galacticas the modern galacticas anyway and uh it, it, it didn't get very well received but hey you know what i like battlestar galactica so you know what hopefully um uh, hopefully this one does a bit better if not eh, that's okay i have fun making these videos anyway so it doesn't really matter but yeah today we're gonna take a break from star trek we're gonna get into battlestar galactica once again as we have a few ships and stuff from that collection so let us take a look at the Battlestar Pegasus and of course if we remember the Pegasus up here and I believe was the episode itself was called the Pegasus uh, which is where they found Admiral Kane's ship that had escaped the Scorpio shipyards uh, during the Cylon attack and uh, was out on its own similar to, to Galactica except no fleet uh, to aid it uh, but it didn't really need one um, this ship is just freaking massive um, and, and as I understand it's got fat Factories and all this. I mean, pretty much everything Galactica has just just times a lot because it's a little bigger, uh, quite a bit bigger than Galactica. So let's take a look at the box. Now I have had this ship for a while, but of course these are nothing to put back in the box. So we'll take a quick look at the box. Of course, since this is one of the larger uh, larger models, uh, Battlestar Galactica, the official ships collection, Battlestar Pegasus, Battlestar Galactica official ship Pegasus. And we have the Colonial uh, Fleet symbol, and then of course we have Battlestar Pegasus, and of course once considered the crown jewel of the colonial fleet you can pause and read the rest of it at your leisure and then of course we have a nice product shot of the pegasus looking awesome and then of course on the other side hero collector yay and flip it all around we got a shot of the pegasus and then of course all the eagle moss legal mumbo jumbo so there it is for the box and let's get this open so firstly and uh we have our magazine and uh yeah this was uh, in the era when uh, Eagle Moss uh, started uh, busting out magazines. Now, I'm not sure if this ship is available. Um, I know Real Merch does uh, have Eagle Moss ships uh, available on its site. I haven't checked if they have the Pegasus um, available. Um, I, of course, got the Pegasus when it came out. I think it was uh, 20, 2018 or 2019 sometime. Uh, again, I, 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 my, my goal with this collection, I at least wanted the Valkyrie, the Galactica, and the Pegasus, the uh, three main battle stars we see in the film. Uh, one day I'll get the, uh, I believe it was the Cyclops and the Osiris, um, but for now this will do. So we get a nice uh, shot of the Pegasus coming as Battlestar Pegasus, the colonial fleet, the colonial fleet symbol, and of course we have Battlestar Galactica, the official ships collection. Let's open it up. We got, of course, our design spec ship profile, behind the scenes interview with Ronald D. E. Moore, and then of course we have our stand instructions, and then an orthographic view, a side view of the Pegasus fleet colonial. It is a battleship. It has kinetic energy weapons, fusion missiles, and nuclear warheads. It is 1.6 kilometers long, approximately. Holy poop. Um, then, of course, we have some uh, nice up-close shots of the Pegasus. And then, of course, we have Pegasus. The warship was a force among battle stars and one of the only two to survive the Cylon attack on the colonies. Then, of course, we have the Pegasus, the launch bay of the Pegasus up here looking really good. I love these pocket magazines. It makes everything so much easier to show. And then, of course, we have some uh, nice shots from Battlestar Galactica right there. Again, I, this show was just something else. Oh, I love this. We got the orthographic views of the Pegasus. Look how big this ship is just absolutely flipping massive um and i'm told that the thing that a lot of people like about this ship I and mean, i personally love this ship because of the size i have no no connection to the original battlestar uh galactica but this ship the layout of it anyway really resembles that of uh the classic battlestar galactica so uh, with the the big engine section and then of course the the head kind of peeking up and kind of the low the skinny profile in the center so then moving along, Enemy Within, and then of course we have the Battlestar Pegasus looking really good, which was inappropriately sacrificed. So we have, of course, have the launch base of the Pegasus right there, BS-62. And then of course we have a Legend Reborn and... Uh, 
Then, of course, we have the Cylon Raider going to be the next ship, the Classic Raider. And then, of course, we have the Colonial symbol on the back of the magazine. Let's move on to the stand and, and, and uh, the summarily the unboxing. Again, even though this actually sits on my shelf. Yes, it is on my shelf at the uh, at the new house. This thing has been in storage for a while. Um, but it is it does have a place on my shelf now, which I am very happy with. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to grab because the uh, little uh, the little uh, side tabs are kind of wearing down on my styrofoam. So take that off. And then, of course, we have our plate here. We have our stand. This works just like any other Eagle Moss stand. So you just plug it in, and it uh, fits quite firmly. And one thing I love about these stands is they don't, uh, like, latch onto the ship. Um, and, of course, here we have our Battlestar Pegasus. We can put the box off to the side. And, uh, again... Where this is going to go is you see these two little uh, flanks and they're just going to attach right on the side there. And again, that's uh, like I said, one thing I love about uh, these stands is uh, it's the simple fact that they don't uh, they don't latch onto the ship anywhere. It's just kind of the ship just kind of rests on the stand. And I think it's very cool, especially if you just want kind of that look on the whole ship. Uh, there's no stand to obstruct that view. It's really, really cool. All right, let's get a look at the Pegasus. And uh, yeah, you know, so one thing, the first thing you notice is uh, very dingy. And of course, being, you know, a military ship, it's, it's colored in that nice kind of dull gray battleship, uh, military warship kind of coloring. It's really, really nice. Not much weight to it, similar to the Galactica. It's mostly a plastic model, which doesn't bug me in the slightest. Um, uh, if anything, you feel a little bit of weight up here, but for the most part, it's mostly kind of a lighter plastic model, which again, uh, I am not bugged by it because I, I, I love how this ship looks anyway. You can come to the front here, see all, how it's all dingy. And remember when we saw the Pegasus, she had already been in some battles uh, since fighting off the Cylons. You got the uh, Got the main battery cannons are on the side here. It looks really nice. I love how they got the detail in right there uh, at the midpoint here. You can see all this nice detail molded in. Same thing down here. It's got a lot of just so many, so much molded details. And of course, we come to the front. And we can see the main battery out here. These four battle cannons out in front. Again, more molded detail on the bottom, protruding all the way to the back of the ship, to the boosters. Looks really good. And this, this ship is just full of molded detail. It's not, like, symmetric at all. There's no aztec like a Star Trek ship. It's, it's, it's very, I mean, save for the cannon positions, there's a lot of different uh, different things to feel on this ship. It's, it's very, very nice, very kind of kind of random in a way it looks really really good of course we got our colonial symbol right here front and center in the ship and then of course we have on the side pegasus bs62 right on the side looking really good and we have of course our uh little shuttle docking bay right here and speaking of the docking bays we have the back side of course that's covered in kind of hairs and whatnot you can see all the way through the other side ah this thing's been sitting through some action. I love the cannons that you have on the back side. And the same thing with the front. And look at that. I love how it kind of just shines all the way through. You got the, the you got the launch bays on the top and on the bottom. Looks really superb. Oh man, I love the nice little outline of the red again. A lot more, a lot of dinge, a lot of a lot of little damages. And of course, moving back to the engines. Again, looking. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that again. You got like all these connecting pieces coming around. And then, of course, you have the uh, center uh, area here. It's got some nice molded black plastic. And lots of molded detail all around this ship. Just a real feast for the fingers, for the eyes. Again, just kind of spot that detail again. Like right here, you got some molded in detail. Got some nice red, uh, nice dull red. I mean, this ship looks like she's seen some crap. You know what I'm saying? Some uh, bad some toasters of course got molded detail in here right around the colonial uh symbol and again moving to the bottom you know we got all this molded detail along the bottom of the ship here just again looking really sharp i absolutely love it um this this ship just looks super cool it's super nice to just behold again i love the layout of this ship it's just absolutely just absolutely too cool i really get a kick out of it 
And for a couple quick comparisons, let's bring in the uh, Bucket. The Bucket before she became the Bucket, the Battlestar Galactica. Of course, this is the Blood and Chrome edition uh, with uh, more cannons when she was all armored up and ready for battle. And there you can kind of see how that works out. And again, um... You know, here's where we kind of get that uh, th that uh, Pegasus was designed with the more classic feel in mind. And one thing I love about these ships is that, you know, they look so different from one another. But you could tell that they're from the same family. Um, oh, ship again. They got this. They have this central dip in the... They have this central dip uh, right in the center right here. And uh, then, of course, they have the same. They have the launch bays that protrude out to the side. Um, I don't think uh, Pegasus is retract uh, like Galacticas do. Galacticas retract inside the ship when she goes into uh, jump mode. Uh, and then, of course, we have, again, you see the Pegasus just outlaid with more uh, with uh, guns here on the front. Um, and again, you see that you see how they just kind of dig in on that central area and the pegasus of course it just has so much more um than galactica with the two with the top and bottom um viper bays and of course you have the guns on the plates uh down here just looks really really uh good and again um you know, again this is not the scale pegasus is significantly bigger than galactica as well it should be it's from a different uh era and of course let's get a look at the back because we can see Pegasus having, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, eight, uh, yeah, two, uh, so more boosters than Galactica, so, uh, there we go for that comparison, and for one additional comparison, let's bring out, um, the baby of the fleet, let's bring out the Valkyrie, and of course, the Valkyrie, a smaller ship, again, not to scale, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Valkyrie, in this case, it's longer, than, but Valkyrie is significantly smaller than Pegasus itself, but again, you have just that, you know, they're from the same family, but look how they look so different, um, it's just absolutely super cool um, to see these ships side by side. You can just kind of get... You know, you, you kind of get the gist that they're from the same family again. You got like the more flat look of the Valkyrie. She's more like a frigate type style vessel, a smaller battle star, if you will. And then, of course, let's bring him in from the side. I gotta adjust my <laughs> my my hands because it does kind of hurt to hold both ships. So they're both relatively light, by the way. Both uh, mo mostly plastic bottles. Um, and you get they can again they can really see that flat look of the Valkyrie. And then, of course, Pegasus having double the engine power the beast that she absolutely is um so yeah and uh there you go and that is it for a couple quick comparisons so let's summarize and there it is for the eagle moss hero collector battlestar galactica official ships collection pegasus and uh yeah no again absolutely superb model here again i i thought eagle moss just killed it killed it with these Battlestar Galactica models I mean the, the detail looks great um the ship has a nice presence on a shelf despite having not much weight in fact that would be one of my only gripes is there's just not that much weight on the ship Ooh, it almost knocked the ship um it, it, again it feels very plastic it doesn't feel like it has much metal in it and if that's a big thing to you um then this model may not be for you but that being said I will say that me personally I am not bugged by that lack of weight. I think this is a fine model. I think it's a really good looking, really nice representation of the ship. Uh, ultra detailed. Again, a real feast for the fingers um, uh, from a detail perspective. I think they're really again, once again, Eagle Moss really killed it with the, these BSG models. More so than the Star Trek series. Um, granted, they did have fewer models. I believe they ended this collection after the Astral Queen, despite the fall of Eagle Moss, which is unfortunate that these ships didn't sell well, because I really thought Eagle Moss had had a good handle on the Battlestar Galactica line, and uh, I really definitely thought that they could go all the way, um, really bring us some nice detailed, uh, nice detailed uh, uh, fleet. Um, but that being said, uh, for what the ships they did give us, they gave us really what counts. Um, again, we got most, a lot of the Battlestars, um, and we also got quite a few of the uh, of the fleet ships, and of course the Cylon ships. So again, bravo to Eagle Monster for bringing us this ship. Now, um, I, I'm not sure if this is 
on realmerch.com. I will uh, check this evening before I post the video, and I will uh, post the link if I do find it. Either way, I will post the link to realmerch.com. You can get Battlestar Galactica models from there. I have, Again, I have not checked what they have slash do not have. Um, but that being said, um, if you do come across this model and you are a huge fan of Battlestar Galactica, specifically the Pegasus, just like I am, um, I do highly recommend this model. Definitely pick it up for your collection. Again, really has a nice presence on the shelf, especially with the other Battlestar. Just looks like one big, happy family. Of course, I would not recommend overpaying for this ship. This ship retailed for about $60. Um, if you can get it from $60 to $100 in this day and age of Eagle Moss's passing, uh, then I think you are winning um, for this model. Again, it is not very heavy, so take that into consideration. So, that being said, that does conclude this review. If you like this review, consider giving leaving me a like. Also, if you do want to see more of my Eagle Moss reviews, check out my Eagle Moss playlist. I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, additionally, um, feel free to check out some of my Star Trek reviews if that's your sort of thing. I do have quite a few of them. I will put a link in the description to the playlist down below as well as where you can get the ship. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. I do do one to two Eagle Moss reviews in addition to my Transformers reviews, so you'll want to stick around for that. And that being said, I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. So say we all.